Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investmore and Blue Steel Real Estate. Uh, just sitting here this Friday afternoon, a little chilly in Colorado, thinking we have not done really an update video on the real estate office. I did a complete before and after video on our big commercial property, which keeps going and going that direction, but not one on just the office. So I'll do a quick video, show you what it looks like right now, and go through some of the things we've had going on in the office. Uh, it's been fun <laughs> and stressful at times, but it's been cool too. So here is our office. And ironically, we don't have any front desk today because she had to run out for an appointment for one of her kids and her other front desk had to leave too. So I get the office to myself, except Justin's around here somewhere in his office. But when we first bought this building, this was all cubicles, carpet, uh, dirty ceiling tiles, and we completely came in here and revamped everything. I still have not tallied up exactly what it costs, mostly because I don't want to know how much it costs, because I'm sure it's very expensive, but my estimate is somewhere around probably 80,000. And some of that includes heating changes, electrical work, taking out walls, the floors, paint, um, furniture, all kinds of things. However, some of the stuff out front, you know, like you just saw the deck, that was added, that was a wheelchair ramp before, the roof was all added there, we painted the outside, um, the building paid for 10,000 of the outside work. So I didn't have to pay for every single thing out of my own pocket, although I own half the building, so I still ended up paying it in a way, but not all of it. Uh, so here's the office, and one other thing I did, which will probably annoy Nikki, my project manager, is I made it a point not to clean up my office. I wanted to show you what it looks like every day when I'm working, which is right there. And actually, to be honest, my desk is a little cleaner than it usually looks. It's usually got a few more papers on it, a few more things scattered everywhere. And Nikki's desk, she'll probably be annoyed I showed that too. Hers is usually cleaner than that, and she always likes to say that she was a much more organized person before she met me, but unfortunately, some of my habits have rubbed off on her. Um, some nice plants people have given us. Oh, my sweet blue steel coat that my wife just got me. It's pretty cool. We have a grand total of seven agents here, including me and Nikki. We have like, I don't know, 10 offices. <laughs> so we, we, we don't use everything for sure. Um, Karen's office, our kind of office manager. Justin's back here. I'll give you a quick peek of him. Ha! He saw me. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, this is where Charlotte and Barb's office was. They, they manage my properties and agents as well. However, they moved their office back over there because one of our other agents who joined up left pretty quickly after joining. So apparently he didn't like me very much. I don't know. But <laughs> that's their office there. And back here is our little storage room. Supplies, lock boxes, some signs, all kinds of different stuff in there. And we have a second conference room here. A bunch of my books that I occasionally will give to people. If you see my Instagram picture, that's where I took it from, right there. Shameless plug, follow Invest for More on Instagram. Uh, our cool pictures that we put up. I love the old house pictures. Uh, these are pictures of Greeley, where we're at, from 100 years ago. So that's really cool. Then, actually, while I'm at it, I think I showed this in another video too. But this is a video or a picture of the building back in 1973, I think, where it says Gibson's. That's the building we bought. And so our office is right back here in the corner, right there. And I bought a drone, and my goal is to try and get a similar picture here eventually as soon as I figure out how to fly that drone. So we'll see how close I can come. That'll be cool. All right, moving back here. Our little coffee bar, we added that. 
One thing that bugged me about my old office was they charged people for soda. And it just seemed really petty. So we don't charge for soda or drinks. It's all free. The coffee is free too. And then my wife's idea, I have a kid's room, which has been really nice. If our kids are here, client's kids, Nikki's kids, Justin's kids are here. They have a place to occupy themselves. And back here, just kind of a sitting area. And yes, I know there is an incredible amount of wasted space in the office, and I love it. I love not being cramped and having room. And I know we should have more agents for how big it is and how many offices we have. However, I am not trying to get a ton of agents. My core business is not being a managing broker. My core business is buying flips, buying rentals, being an investor, owning my own brokerage makes that so much easier and is highly beneficial, but I don't want to have to babysit a bunch of agents. That's not my main goal. That's the women's bathroom. And then the men's bathroom that we fixed up to is right in here. Our kitchen that used to be an office. So it had a door there, had kind of a window there, took all that out put it in the bar, opened it up, redid the flooring, added all the cabinets, put in the granite, everything brand new here. And then looking out in this area again, more wasted space, but it's our little fun game room. I have had a few happy hours. We had a commercial broker meeting here. Great space to uh, have some get togethers, teach classes, do whatever. We can move some of these tables, add more you know, tables and chairs, fit a lot of people in here if we need to. And then when they get bored, they can play shuffleboard or pool. This is my little recording room where we put the Blue Steel and Invest For More logos. You may have seen some of my videos from in here. However, it has a horrible echo and the little rug did not help. So we're probably gonna get some of the sound deafening wall pad things you can get eventually and see if that helps because can't really use that room right now I uh, have more offices back here this is empty not really used unless someone comes who wants to use it who doesn't have their own office um, my bookkeeper or someone else another empty office our beautiful dart board when those darts hit the concrete floor they break about 30 percent of the time so I'm going to have to get some stronger darts. I really don't want to show you this room because I know it's a mess and I have not cleaned up anything, like I said. But this is our little sign room. Oh yeah, yep, it's not horrible, but our blue steel real estate signs, our sign posts, um, some open house signs, other stuff in there, which we need to organize a little better. Uh, that is mostly my fault. Then our conference room right here have some more of the older pictures our TV that we got hooked up has cable also can go work with the computer so we can get online when I'm having office meetings I can show people properties on the MLS training training materials all kinds of cool stuff really nice having that and one reason why we can't have any more agents either is we only have seven no six chairs in here right now so I couldn't have any more agents if I wanted to. So, oh well. All right, that is the main office area. And I will show you the bonus area here too, which I haven't shown for a while. The upstairs. This is where we were going to put our golf simulator to start with, but we ended up putting it next door in the vacant space. I'll probably run over there and show you that as well. And I think I'll patch in the before video just to show you this whole office beforehand so you don't have to go find that. But as you can see, lots of construction materials. A lot of this stuff was actually here when we bought the building, but we have nothing else to do up here except store junk. So that's what we've been doing. And Christmas presents, a great place put our kids Christmas presents so they can't find them as well. Some 
Porsche 928 seats, which I had great hopes of restoring at one point and have never done. And then, yes, other random stuff that we'll probably never use. So that's the upstairs. That staircase goes down by the kitchen. Not very exciting. All right. That is the office. It's been fantastic. I love having my own space. Love having my own brokerage. I love having control. Get to work with the people who I want to work with. And it's been awesome. Doesn't make a ton of money because we just don't have enough agents uh, do enough business to make a ton of money. But it's great as far as support for my other business and lets me focus on the things that are really important to me. The flips, the rentals, the blog. That's all much more profitable and more fun to me than having 20 agents in an office. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll do some of the before video right now. Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside a commercial property that I have under contract right now. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of the property and uh, what's going on with it, give you a little bit of information. And if I do end up buying it, I will show you the whole thing, go over all the numbers and all that. But um, show you some of it right here. This property was brought to me by a commercial agent who I've been working with for a while. Um, total thing is over 70,000 square feet. I'm just gonna show you a couple of the empty spaces. But um, yeah, it's been vacant for a few years in these two back spaces. The other spaces have been occupied for many, many years. So it cash flows extremely well, um, makes quite a bit of money, was a really good deal. And we're just kind of going through the inspections right now, the appraisal, things like that, to get in here again and show you what's going on. This used to be kind of a, obviously, a, just an office. Um, it's not in amazing shape. They've had it for a lease for a while, and it hasn't been in very good condition when they marketed it. So it's not a huge surprise that it um, hasn't been leased. You can see there were some roof leaks in the past that were fixed, but they never fixed the ceiling tiles, things like that. Um, it's about 4,000 square feet this whole space lots of offices and another reason why I'm showing you this is I'm thinking about starting my own real estate brokerage and this or the other space might become my new office I really don't need this much space but um I can probably figure out a way to make it work here is the other unit where we had our temporary office while the other one was being remodeled. We were all in here for a couple months. And this is where we put the golf simulator. So we added this door so that this space can be separate from the golf simulator space when we rent it. So I painted it the brightest blue I could possibly find. <laughs> Tried to match the Lamborghini. And then here, if we ever need to, is another door where we can come in this way to get to this room if the other space is leased. Here is the actual golf simulator room back here. That's where our contractor spilled a bunch of black paint. <laughs> but. Uh, what the important thing is in this room is that. But we did paint it blue to make it look cool. We tore down the drop ceiling, left it open, added the projector, added the net, the screen. We need to kind of tighten it up a little bit, but it still works great. There's a the little simulator um, sensor thing. So that tells you exactly how fast you hit it, how far you hit it. Um, the direction, the spin, the launch angle, and all kinds of other cool stuff. So I don't know why it's saying it's not connected. Hold on a second. There, I fixed it. I had too many sky tracks open and we already were logged in. That's why it wasn't showing up. So yeah, it shows you how far you hit it, your club head speed, the ball speed, the spin, the launch angle, what direction you hit it. So nice, so awesome, all you do 
put your ball down where the little red dot is, hit the ball, and it tells you what you do. And this is practice mode. It has challenge modes, um, skill modes, and then we just bought a program that lets us play like 12,000 different courses. So we're going to get that set up soon as well. All right, so that's the office. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know what more updates we can do, although I did think of having some quarterly bonuses for the office where if we reach certain goals, we'll do cool stuff here. So we may or may not do that. We kind of wanted to add a fireplace at one point, add some other stuff, and we'll see if that ever happens. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll have more videos soon.